So I'd like a little more clarification on the um, the unusual turnaround. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to work it. Sometimes I can't get it to work and sometimes I can. And I, I've forgotten, you told me a long time ago, like a criteria, but I, I don't remember. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, I call it the unusual turnaround because it only shows up very, very seldomly. It's very unusual. It's not, uh, it's, most statements do not fit the, the criteria for this uh, turnaround, but it is a powerful turnaround when it does show up and it's worth um, using or at least not being scared to look at when it does show up. So this unusual turnaround is, it shows up when you have two things, I don't know how to explain it better than two things moving in opposite directions. Um, like, like, um, I want him to come here, uh, as opposed to, uh, yeah. So let's take that one. I want him to come here. Turn around to the opposite is I don't want him to come here. That's straightforward. Turn around to the self is I want me to come here to come to myself. That's straightforward. And, um, I want me to come to him. So that would be, that would be the turnaround to the other. Maybe this isn't the perfect example because what I was going to say, the unusual turnaround is I want me to go to him, but that's uh, okay. So I don't, I don't have a perfect example on the top of my head. Um, let me well, think of a better it's example. It's actually relieving to hear you have as much struggle as I've had. <laughs> well, yeah, it only shows up and I recognize it when it shows up, but it, uh, I can't just um, pull it out of my head. The, okay. the other physical analogy that I use is, yeah, is you're sitting at a stoplight with two cars. You're in one car. The other car is, is right next to you. And the other car starts moving forward just slightly, but you think you're moving backwards. From your perspective, you're like, oh, it's moving backwards. So if the statement was the car is like the statement is, um, yeah, I don't know what the statement is, but okay. what I'm saying is there are two ways to look at this. One is that car is moving forward. The other is we're moving backwards. And it it requires something like that to be able to use this unusual turnaround. Okay. But it's Gosh, like, I wish I had a, a what example. am I doing? That's actually what I'm accusing them of doing. And I'm doing something. Yeah. I have an example now. Okay. So. I want her to listen to me. Okay. Okay. So turn around to the opposite is I want, I don't want her to listen to me. Turn around to the self is I want me to listen to me. Turn around to the other is I want me to listen to her. And the unusual turnaround is I want me to speak better to her. Like to oh, speak, okay. to speak up to her. So you see how in this case, hearing and speaking are like the, the, that car that's one going forward and one's going backwards. Like there's, they're equal and opposite actions and it requires something like that for this unusual turnaround to happen. So, so I need, she, I need her to okay. listen to me. Mm -hmm. But I, but so, I, so, so, I need to listen to her would be an opposite, but I need, I need me to say something. I like a different word is changed. Maybe Right. And what word is it? It's kind of an opposite word of the it's opposite action word of the statement that I need her to listen to me. Like maybe the reason she can't listen to me is because I'm not explaining things clearly. So I need to be a better communicator. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The times that doesn't I, that listen to me. Obvious, the times that I've used it and it's been obvious has been really powerful. So Right. But what you're saying, so, also, it's not always like the that. tricky part about it. And the reason people dismiss this turnaround sometimes is because it looks like and basically is a double turnaround. So uh, it sounds like, oh, my gosh, OK, the original statement was I want her to listen to me. And now I've turned it from I want her. I've turned it to I want me. So that's one kind of turnaround. And then I want her to listen to me turned around. I want me 
to communicate better to her. So I've turned around, listen to me communicating. So I've turned changed two things in the same sentence. And that should send or uh, well, look at the balloons. <laughs> uh, that should send like warning messages up that okay, I'm doing a double turnaround. And that may be leading me back to the original statement, which is normally what we call a spin, and it doesn't go anywhere. You know, if you turn something around from 180 degrees, and then you turn it around another 180 degrees, it's 360 degrees, you're back at zero right where you started. So that's why people will often dismiss this turnaround because things like they think it's a spin. Okay, I've just turned around, turned around the turnaround. But actually, it's a really insightful turnaround. Instead of I just want her to listen to me, that's great. Uh, I want me to listen to her. I don't need her to listen to me. I want me to listen to me. All these are great, but I want me to communicate better to her. Wow, that's a whole nother dimension that just got introduced there. And it works. But it's probably going to work on like 3% of all statements out there. It's like maybe 5%. I don't know. It's not that often. So if you can you can look for it, you can play with it, but it's not um, its not going to be your bread and butter kind of turnaround. It'll be showing up from time to time and um, it can wow you sometimes. Usually what happens is you kind of, you kind of see a double turnaround and then you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then your mind goes, oh no, double turnaround. And then you want to dismiss it. But that might be the time to check. Oh, is that that unusual one? And does it make sense or not? And if it does, great. If not, just leave it. Um, You can tell the difference between a spin and something insightful in that a spin leaves you feeling stressed. It feels like, oh, I'm still a victim. I'm still in the same position that I was when I started. Whereas a turnaround actually shifts something and opens something and balances something to what you were seeing before. And so if you feel that, then it works. I don't even care if it's a even more crazy turnaround than this unusual one here. Uh, if it if it shows up and it actually leads you into a place of more openness and balance and and it, it feels like it's um, yeah expanding your vision, then we'll go there. That's all. The, the turnarounds, these technical turnarounds, are just pointers for us to try to try to look in places we wouldn't normally look. And uh, sometimes they yield amazing things. Sometimes they're dead ends, but there are a lot of different doors we can knock on. And sometimes you'll find this little unusual turnaround. I, sh- I should probably come up. I think I wrote an article once um, on my blog of this unusual turnaround with two or three examples of it. But um, should make a longer list of them because they're yeah they're, yeah because they when I do come up with one, it's a big aha for me. Yeah. And so I try to find it each time and I don't find it very often. So I thought I was doing something wrong, but that's, yeah, it's a rare one. No, it's rare. Like I said, 5% of the time max, I would say. And so you're, if you're looking, don't be too attached to finding because you're probably not going to find you just will find every once in a while. And, <laughs> there are times I feel better if I look and see, Oh, you know what? I, I, in that moment when I've said something like, Oh, I could have actually communicated better with that person. I remember that at the time I intentionally didn't communicate better knowing that I could have. So sometimes that helps me with that turnaround because it's like, yeah, I kind of had, you know, I, I blew it off rather than doing that. So, and it doesn't make me feel worse. It just makes me feel like, Oh, I, I have another opportunity coming up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Another telltale sign of a good turnaround is that it brings the responsibility back to me. Yeah. And if you take it too far, you can you can beat yourself up with it. That's never the point of a turnaround. But exactly. if you if you take it and you see like, oh, I could actually communicate better, then I'm not as dependent on that person listening and I'm not a I'm not a victim of their inability to listen because I can be a better explainer. I can be a better listener myself. I can be a better communicator. Um, I can, yeah, like that. So uh, it's like, a, it would be similar to, uh, I want my student to be a better student. Well, I want me to be a better teacher. 
<laughs> so that I can explain things better to that person, then they will actually be, probably be a better student. So, you yeah. know, it's taking responsibility for yourself and that feels good and it's empowering. Thank you. <laughs>